Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can add a secondary or additional plugin path for your plugins on Photoshop CC 2014. Now, this is on a Mac, and one trouble with the latest version of Photoshop CC 2014 is that if you go to the Preferences and the Plugin section, they've removed the additional or secondary plugin path. So, how to add another folder? Well, the reason I'm actually doing it is because basically what I've done, I've actually created my own plugin, but of course you might have like third party plugins, you find plugins on the web and you want to copy them into a plugins path. Now, you could of course just add them into the, I'm just going to go now up to here, you've got Photoshop CC 2014 and you've got a plugins path. And you might want to just add them in there. If, like me, you've got an admin and a username account system set up, Every time you try and put anything in there, it says, ask obviously for your admin password and all that sort of stuff. And I don't want to do that if I'm doing development because I want to just keep obviously updating and I might be putting new ones in all the time. So now, quick way around that is to create an alias. So in this folder, you've got a little, this one generator, it says, and I've obviously just created an alias. Now how to do that? Just go over to the folder that's actually got the plugin in. You just go over to here, and I'm just going to go. It's called this one's obviously debug. Could be anything for you. Obviously, you could just have it on your desktop plugins folder. And what you need to do is select that folder and then go down to make alias. That will create an alias for that location. So just make an alias. Do up here as well. And once you've done that, just copy that alias. And put it there obviously at that time it will come up and ask you for your admin password username etc right so once you've actually done it you've done it once so you don't have to do it ever again so then basically any development plugin you can just put them into this folder and then it will be I'm just gonna go now to Photoshop when you start up Photoshop it comes up obviously loads it and about plugin and you will see this one here dissolve it's one of the SDK plugins so obviously if you want to go and work on a plugin just go off to the Photoshop uh, SDK section find their plugins SDK and create some um, I used Xcode and uh, now if you go to filter you'll actually see the plugin there it just says Adobe SDK dissolve and obviously just comes up with a little dialog does a few nice little bits of noise and you can obviously modify that click OK now that's a quick way of creating a secondary or additional folder for your plugins hope you found this of interest thank you